What are my people? Why Luis Arraez leave the face, the, the eyes on the home plate? Luis Arraez just putting a drills out there because MOB went to the cage that he worked and all that. And we're going to analyze some things out here, uh, how the drills that he do and things that I like and things that maybe I don't, I don't have to like it. It's just the things that maybe a lot of kids will misunderstand, you know, because we always hear these things when we were little and it's sometimes it can mess you up. Okay. So let's just go. We don't try to be negative or positive. We're just trying to be straight up what we're supposed to see or, and, and logic. Okay. So you see Luis Arias right here uh, doing uh, his thing, his video, you know, Luis Arias is great hands and eye coordination, whatever, but mechanics really good. Uh, now you can see it with a little disc right there turning, but if you can see something, okay. First of all, something that I'll, that I'll, things that I like about his mechanics in practice, in practice, right? He put T really deep and close to his body. So that allow him to turn the barrel that allow him to keep connection. Plus that allow him to stay back when you put the T that deep and back. Okay. So you get, you stay back and you turn early. That's something I like about Luis Arraya. He now, does that good. Yep. And that's something that he do consistent in practice. That's something that we can take from him and say, okay, this is something we can work because you don't see him jumping up front or nothing. Okay. So really good. Okay. And then the coach throw him balls deep, deep in the back of the zone so he can turn early. And here, this is the other thing. Now, something that he really do all the time is keeping the head straight in home plate. Like you say, he followed the ball all the way through. Where, where is the ball? He when he hit the ball, when he hit it over here, the ball is already out. Now, did he keep the head there? If that's good or that's bad. Now, it's good if you understand that your body had to be moving in the right position, in the right mechanics, in the right sequence. If you don't get the right sequence and the right move, all that about keeping the head there, it can mess you up. Okay, because you can still miss in the ball with just keeping the head there because your mechanic is not right. Okay, now a lot this has come from a long time. Keeping the head there is come from yeah, everybody, everybody. That, that, even that the coaches when they see you missing a ball, the first thing, even when you what I got kids, you watching the video and the kids say, No, he's keeping the head away, he's throwing the head away. And when you watch the video, his, his head is there, his head is there, but they want the head all the way here and finish the swing. So they don't focus in the mechanics. They just focus on something that just to say something, just something that is just normal in 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 our culture of baseball. Like keep it your head there, keep your head there. And the thing is, the reality is, he seemed like he's gonna eat the the ball with the the ball with the eyes. Like look at the face. It's like it's oh, really I'm watching it. And that's not new. That's no, all. That's he just does that. But that's not new. That's not the answer of your all your questions no. and, and keeping to have the straight, uh, the best mechanic. Because if that was the answer, I could be the best hitter. Yeah. Because all me, all my friends, you did it. Ooh, everybody did it. Everybody. Like that's not that's not the answer of everything. Now, it sound good because all in our culture of baseball, we all believe no, you have to keep your eyes in the ball. But in, be honest, be honest. When the ball take off. When the ball get out of the, hand, of the hands right there, he's not following the ball. The ball is already gone. The thing is, as you can see right here, he's working on drills, progression drills. The, the drill, it probably allow him to feel something that he want to feel for the game. But then when we go to the game, look at this. Look at, look at how in contrast was this. He hit the ball and keep the head there. And they say, ah, oh, it's a progression. He's working like that. So in the game, he just don't open up or stuff like that. But the, the thing is, you're forcing something that is not natural. Exactly. You're forcing something that is not natural. That's the thing. For me, it had to be something natural, fluid, with a group mechanic, right? Now, some kids, they, they don't have, feel it natural and we have to work on it, right? But like this part right here, finish your swing and keep your head there, is it's just a feeling thing for him or superstitious that he liked to feel, right? After this video came out, everybody's watching our video and say, oh, the kid is letting the head go out. He's coming out. His head is coming out. And you see the kid hitting land drive the other way. Pa, pa. Dude, 
I'm like, guys, I'm like, Dude, wow. Man, it, 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 this may be helping mentally, keeping the head there, whatever, but that's not the answer of the great hitting he is. His mechanics, he's turning early, staying back, all that, that barrel early in the song, that's what makes him good hitter, okay? Because if you think about it, did he do that in the game? Look at this. He turning the bat, like here, he's keeping the head there and finish his swing. And here, it's a home run. It's a home run. He watching the ball up front, but then he finished his swing. And the head is looking forward. Mm -hmm. So in reality, it's not going to happen. But for him in practice, he want to feel that he's watching the ball and keep the head there, right? So maybe helping understand that we don't want to pull off our head before we hit it, right? But in reality, he's finished his swing. Imagine him try to keep his head behind his shoulders right here to, to home play after he hit a home run. He probably cannot finish his swing right. He probably don't cannot bring the quickness that he bring. Why? Because it's not comfortable. It's not the right sequence. You don't want to slow down your, your hands to keep your head there, all right? So make sure you understand that your swing, your mechanics, it had to be there and understand is what is washing the ball and finish your swing the right way or what is washing the ball and keeping your head there and sometimes don't even finish your swing the right way because you just want to keep your head there. Sometimes it just, it's a bad habit from coaches. It's a bad habit from coaches and it's a bad habit from players sometimes. Sometimes you're thinking you're missing the ball because you're not watching it. And you're probably watching it, you're just doing something wrong with your mechanics. So you have to make sure that while you're looking in your sequence, while you're looking in your mechanics, before you start putting your head, almost eating the ball with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, look, look at this. Mm, that's in, natural right there. Look imagine Barry Bonds keeping the head there, all the way there. Look at the head. It's already looking the ball flying over there because he just focused more in that mechanics. Or it's not even his focus. He's a natural reaction, probably. Just getting that swing right. Allow him to bring quickness, power, and then he got a home run without keeping the face in home There's play. more details in the swing when you're practicing yeah. to stay there than just keeping the head there. Well, what is the other thing happened? You got a kid. Oh, yeah. He swing. He swung. A kid that swung. And I, I was recording because that's what we do in presential lessons. Every lesson that we do, every, every whenever we're working, online, whatever, we record and we watch the swing and we analyze it. I was recording it and the kid missed the ball. And I asked him, what you do? And he said, ah, my head, my head did that. My head came out. Mm. Well, and I was like, I saw the video and he like, no, look at this. Your head is there, and but you're missing the ball. He just fell at the end, like he, he finished his swing. But through the swing, his head was there. He just missed it. But the reason why he missed it is because he was so handsy and pushy trying to hit the ball up front, making contact because the ball was coming out of the machine fast. And he like, <clears throat> So, and the first thing he told me, oh, my head. Because that's something that the people around yeah. him have been telling him. Oh, you head, you head, you head. And it's just in cons uh, they're just mess messing up the swing. Uh -huh. so, it, it, you see players doing hitting a foul ball, and they're keeping the head there. And they foul because they're more focused on making contact instead of focusing on just doing the right thing. And the contact will happen with power mm -hmm. and consistent. You have to trust the mechanics. They, the, all this thing about just touching the ball. Now, you, just imagine, put somebody that never played the game and say, watch the ball. Yeah. <laughs> they right. miss the ball still. Right Bro. there. The problem in that situation right there that happened with the kid, a bad coach right there could mess him up completely. Because he can, he can be, oh, yeah, I agree. You, you hate what's coming out. And, man, he will just go. His hitting will go. His swing will go like this. Because the kid will focus on his head and then pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, and he was not turning the right way. He was not doing what we're showing you with Barry Bonds and or it, and it, with other elite hitters. It's plenty of kids that come to us and they're like pushy, handsy, and finish like this with the head there. But they're just hitting little pop-ups behind second base. Yeah. <laughs> but they're making a lot of contact, maybe, but they don't bring in the right energy because they're so focused on just... Keep your head there. And they don't even focus on their quickness and the power the right way to get that finish through the right way with the right energy. Okay? Yeah. So watch out with that. Make sure you understand what is watching the ball or keeping your head there. Yeah. Okay? Because if you, if you, if I see a rise keeping the head 
there after contact. Well, good job, Arise. I will have to keep my head there, but he don't do it in the reality. That's just an idea maybe to help him to stay through or whatever, but he don't have to help you. He don't, he, you know, Arise, okay? That mm -hmm. just, he do a lot of other drills that maybe can help you, okay? And we have a, we offering a program, uh, it's called Castro Bros Online, VIP. Castro Bros VIP Online Course. It's coming out soon. It will help, we promise you, it will help a lot of players all over the world. Yeah, we're gonna, we, we put in drills that we approve, drills that it, we do with kids, because that's the thing, a lot of play, a lot of, you can be like, yeah, I got this player, I am professional coach, whatever. But here we helping young players, we helping young players to move the right way. We helping parents to help their kids to, get the movement the right way because we got a lot of kids you know we really working on it we got hands on we don't just get the best talented and that's it no we're working with just uh regular talent or big talented and we working on specific things for our mechanics so that's what we do in this vip we got a virtual lesson in that that membership and we got a video critique and we're gonna cover that with compare you if you remember, with the swing of an elite. So stay tuned, my people. And you're going to have constant communication. Constant with us, communication. Okay? Anytime you finish practice, you can holla. See ya. Bye.